All right, I'm going to show y'all how I wired this four gang rocker switch on my Yamaha Viking six seater today. First off, I'll show you on the inside here where I installed it at in this blank spot that uh, Yamaha puts on these Yamaha Vikings. It fit perfect in there with the, once it's installed. You can see each time you turn one of these on, these lights light up. They send decals to put on these two to see what they're for, but I haven't done that yet. You have a double USB plug right here. And you also have a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug right there. Um, and then, you know, of course the one that came with it down here. All right, now to show y'all how it comes out. The wiring part of it, I've wired everything up there together. You take your two grounds, run them together, run your one ground all the way to the battery. You have a hot lead that goes to the battery and then you have a hot that goes to ignition. Uh, switch <clears throat> all the coil wires you see there is a is the hot off each switch it's going to go to my light or radio or whatever else i plug into it uh, i caught that ignition coil wire or uh, not coil but ignition switch wire up in here and it's one that uh yamaha actually just had stubbed out and wasn't being used so it worked out real good i was able to use it and they do that in places around here it's like this four gang you know plug right here that's not being used i guess get my tester out and figure out what it's for but anyways i came down i added an inline fuse to that there's also two inline fuses up there protecting it up there also but when i came out of that ignition cool so i didn't have to get back to it i pigtailed another hot lead down here off of it that uh if i needed to get to that spot again or use it again i could just pick it up on that leader on that wire right there all right, this is where my hot and my ground are going to my battery. And this is it right here coming in from the battery. I mean from, you know, the underside coming in. And then this is the ground and this is the hot. Every, I tried to heat shrink, uh, you know, heat wrap or shrink everything on there to keep everything waterproof. But also getting to this ignition switch uh, line, hot lead is underneath here. And it's real hard to get to if you're trying to reach in from under the fender wells. So what I was able to do, it took all of probably five minutes, was take all these screws out all around the perimeter of the plastics, all the way around it. And then these push pins out of the inside, both sides, and then pull the plastics up. To where the mirror was and that gave me room underneath there to where i could reach in there and wire up my hot lead on there um other than that you know if you guys got any questions or you guys can even comment on anything about like what these why yamaha leaves these out here like this for for us and just stubbed out and they're not being used you know i don't know maybe somebody else knows and they can tell us why